Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Facilitators for their team, but they haven't been the ones that are the pressure point. I would have liked just straight up Jinx Thresh or something like that. Play it slow, just farm, build a call for Ghost, let him sit Still back. Still gonna be some extra experience going over to him, but it's not going to be a huge win. Um, this tower is dead if they use the Herald. Yeah, as that's a big Nara to the wall. The wallop comes down as well, is now Dread in here underneath the turret as Dove flashes to get out of the way, Kyle. He is here, the flash comes out from the Nar, but it does not work. And Croco turns up as well. The turnaround is all too easy. I mean, such a great crash down. Magnus Storm from season one, Wolf. He was a notorious Vladimir player that you'd be able to witness on Dyrus' stream. But they will be able to come up here and take the drink. I thought they would actually come over and try to Yeah, so them. first turret goes to live Sandbox. And Nongshim are going to try and take this inner as well, but they'll sacrifice Soul Point, point yeah. for it, which is definitely a mistake. As you can see, Ghost trying to dash forward onto Closer, but this Lucian is not necessarily that strong right now. And these rockets are beginning to hurt, but that's a triple charge. Shirley getting all the value, and that's an in inhibitor turret going down. So now, no, considering- not gonna be threatening any objectives. It's very odd. Yep, however, it does make sure that Live Sandbox have as much safety for the Corky oh, taking it. this out of turret top lane as they can. And then it is used in order to Value destroy the side lane. Um, it does really feel like a little bit of uh, 2021 Nongshim I'm watching right now. Some good cross map plays here. All about him. Yeah, one way or another. Oh, Vision put down, and once again, Croco is spotted out. As Kana, that's a big Naba. And this is when Nongshim needs to take control of this Drake. We'll see whether Kana has the play. There's the Magnet Storm to start this one up, as it is the Drake secured by Dread. Croco goes down extraordinarily low as Kyle. He's going to get taken down, but can they find the value now? There are Sand Soldiers everywhere. The Live Sandbox, it will be a one for one, but they lose the Drake, most important. Yeah, most important. A whole lot of damage um, to the Baron. I mean, okay, Culling is going to come through. Kyle, he really wants to get out the Fates Call, and he does so. Goes, goes extraordinarily low and will be taken down, and that is throwing everything into a unit that Back will just... going to be delivered here as Corky over the side now. We'll be able to throw these rockets to make sure that no one can get that flank angle. Still likely dangerous as the Ornhorn's going to come down. Gets the knock up onto Dread, who moves away from the Baron. But no one's really interested in that right now. And now BDD needs to be the hero. Can he find the Emperor's Divide? And the answer is absolutely not. They just wipe out the Nami and the Nah. And BDD cannot find an ulti angle. He can't find one without Kana having a really nice Nar here. He needs that setup working together or a little bit more poke and damage from the Lucian as Lucian nice has so response. much time. And BDD, he's far away, he's chipping away at health bars, but he doesn't have an ult angle. Meanwhile, well, here's an Empress Divide. Kyle's going to be pushed back, and this is why they baited out the Fates Call. It's so that they could get the free pick here and guarantee themselves the Drake, I guess. Say those, ro those rockets are starting to hurt here. Dove's ult's coming back online just a few seconds. He needs to buy time for that. Yeah, more vision over the wall is now Dove's going to take that big old back massage, and it is going to be the end of him. Kind of moving forward as well as Nongshim will be able to move back towards this Drake. And their composition is starting to outlast and we need that to, of Liv Sandbox. We need to go back in time and find out why Kyle was killed in that moment and what, where they were trying to set up. It looked like just deep vision they were looking for on the left side of the Drake pit, which I think wasn't necessarily something they should have been doing at this time without their ultimates up. They need to slow the fight down as Kyle looking for a little bit of vision here to maybe turn this into a 50-50. Croco has flash and obviously can come in from a long distance away. Yep, Dread in the back of the pit now, down to 5k health as the Sand Soldiers are really ripping through this Baron. Kyle's going to get the stun onto the Nah, but he's still above half health. Croco gets into the pit a bit immediately. He has to get out. These rockets are hurting so damn much as Dread. It's going to be a 50-50. Who gets the smite? It's Dread that locks it down. As then the kickback onto Croco. Dread tries to get out, but Cro Closer is going to be there. That will stop the escape of the least in. However, the Sandbox is walking away with the Baron almost just as easily. And yes, you might argue that Resonating Strike Smite is a more powerful option. However, in a chaotic situation like that, First if time Croco went in, so forced him to flash out, then he had to return. It was well played by Dread. And, uh, the Baron power push is going to be a lot stronger than the non-Baron one, so not yeah. like we get the empowered recalls too. So you can't Everything's us. empowered, Wolf. Yeah, it's a big 
um, BPP, as we like to call it here on our stat screens. Yeah. Through. Yeah. That stands for Baron Powell. Okay. Play, well, the way, they, do they actually get away? Well, Ornhorn's gonna come in and uh, finds him blind, or looks for him blind. Uh, as uh, Dred's also blind, doesn't actually manage to find the Q here in order to escape and. He's going to safeguard around, buy some time, and uh, four people are going to be the end of this Lee Sin. I mean, that does buy enough time for BDD to grab this turret down here. Not entirely sure why Dread wasn't able to recall with the rest of his team who did get out scot free. Perhaps was interrupted by a minion or had to walk further, but he's going to avoid the fight entirely. Yeah, Noxium, like, you left the front door open, Live Sandbox! And they're going to take that inhibitor, and then they should be able to kite out here. Kana, though, his Narbar is expiring. Well, there's also a package delivery as we get the biggest zoom of all time. Magnus Storm goes in there as Kyle going down low, but closes delivering the package. So much damage here as Croco just punches the Lucian in the back of the head. Kyle survives for so dang long, and Dread decides that he just wants to kill an inhibitor. He wants to get something back here in this game as, yep, the uh, Rend will do most of his health bar, and then uh, Dread finds himself in a huge amount of trouble. Effort is the one that survives, um, but that still means that Live Sandbox 100% win this fight. They'll take the Ocean Soul as well. But the inhibitor is down, so that's going to at least save some of the pressure here, but Live Sandbox 100% in control of this game. At least they were able to get the inhibitor. It looked like for a second they hesitate to get the inhibitor and end up losing members on the retreat, which would have been the worst possible scenario. At least they still do get that critical structure is th this game has been about leaf sandbox struggling to deal with Nongshim's macro half of the time but then other times punishing it so these baron takes has been absolutely correct and i think this is what may secure the baron for them it's very difficult for the contest croco on the other side it could be another 50 50 as no he way. just steals it away this time he's gonna win that 50 percent and there is the damage from the corky as well empress divide comes out bdd is down so incredibly low though as croco is gonna get booped away canner also eventually is rendered to death and you can see croco he wants even more trying to interrupt the teleport oh my god it is going to come through yeah um nami not going to be so lucky though as now dreads trying to escape no empowered recalls for them this time That's though game. because yeah live sandbox they'll just travel down this mid lane and they'll win that is going to be game over kyle coming over here to interrupt the back will be successful yeah. i think he should be able to survive here <laughs> so the Nexus is going to be a trade for him if he does die. You can see his health bar here going down to half. Yeah, he's going to be able to live long enough. He's very tanky with the build he's chosen here with the locket. Well, Empress Divide's going to uh, still remain on cooldown, but the Ram is going to say, get away from these Nexus turrets. We will destroy them. Ghost is going to spawn once again. As Kyle might be a pad of, pad of the stats here for the Lee Sin, but the Nexus is still going to go down and live Sandbox just outplaying. Nongshim in that latest stage of the game. They had.